We need community because you're never going to climb the ladder of your life on your own. When I was in Colorado earlier this year, I said, hey, bring this ladder out front. They said, what are you going to do with the ladder? I said, I have no idea. I'll improvise. And every school this year that I go to, I have these ladders and they bring them out. And what's amazing about these ladders is every school's different. Some are orange and some are yellow, some are blue, some are fiberglass, some are aluminum, some are steel, some are wooden, some are covered in paint, some are brand new, some are six foot, eight foot, 10 foot, 12, 16 foot. All these ladders are unique and they're just like you and me, man. Our life, our story, our storms, we have a very unique set of circumstances to us personally. But no matter what your storm, your life, your journey, your ladder is, the only way that you can get from the bottom to the top is you got to climb And I tried to climb my ladder on my own for so long. And I would climb and I would mess up and I would fall. And I would try to get and trying to figure out and overcome my struggles and my insecurities. And I would climb this ladder and I would get up and I would fall over. Because I knew at the top of this was purpose, at the top of this was meaning, at the top of this was was peace. And I would try so hard to white knuckle this thing and I would climb. And I realized we can't do it on our own. Because valuing people is important. And I now live a life of horizontal and vertical relationships. And what I mean by that, I have to understand taking off my mask and living in community is so important because we are better together. And when I started having horizontal relationships, peer to peer, people who understood me, people who relate to me, people who get where I come from, when I leaned on them and allowed us to know that we're not an island, I won't see my blind spots. Horizontal relationships but also the verticals, the mentors, the coaches, the teachers, the people who have been battle tested. It's like when you wear a seatbelt, you put a seatbelt on, and many a times when we put the seatbelt on, when we were kids, what did we do? We took the chest strap and we put it behind our back. And I realized that, yep, even the lap belt, that horizontal relationship, it'll keep me kind of safe if there's an accident. But if I'm not wearing the seatbelt appropriately or the way I'm supposed to, it's not the most effective tool to get me safely from point A to point B. Because if I'm in an accident and I'm only using a horizontal relationship, just my peers, and not using the whole structure of the vertical strap, the mentors, the coaches, there's still going to be whiplash. There's still going to be head trauma. And as I began to climb my ladder, and I tried to do it on my own, man, with all my suicidal thoughts, and I would fall, and all my self-harming, and my insecurities, and my anger, and my rage, and I would fall, and I, and I started getting involved with the drugs and the alcohol, and I would fall because I was so isolated. I had been traumatized. Abuses had happened. I want to belong, but I wore the mask, so I tried to do it on my own, and I could never get there. But when I started being transparent, and I took off my mask, and I started letting my friends in my life, as I could climb and I fall, you could catch me. And you can't climb my ladder. But at the end of the day, as you guys start to stabilize the base of my ladder, and you guys start to give me a good place of center, even though I'm making mistakes, I'm not doing it alone. Even though I have a lot of character issues that I'm working on, you help see my blind spots, and I'm able to begin to finally progress. But honestly, I get to a place that you guys have never been either. My peers... That horizontal relationship, the lab, but it's important. But eventually, as my friends, as as my tight-knit circle, I'm going to get to a height that you've never been either because as as we grow as a society, there are men and women, those mentors, those coaches, those people who have lived life that we need to speak into our lives. It's also about vertical relationships. And when I began to find the courage and understand the power of transparency and accountability and hard work and make good choices, but also value people. And this is my ladder. This is my life. It's unique to me. I have my own flaws. I have my own pains. I have my own traumas. I have my own stuff and I have to climb my ladder, but I'm not supposed to do this by my own. I need my peers, but I also need my mentors. And as I begin to use the community and have these relationships, I could climb and I would fall and you could catch me and I would get to heights that I've never been and perspective change and I'm terrified but I have coaches and I have mentors I have parents I have people I have the vertical relationships that can inspire that can encourage that can give me safety that can stabilize my ladder so I can get to a place in my life where I can stand and I can reach heights that I could never do on my own and for so long I neglected the power of community And for so long, I neglected how we're better together. And for so long, I thought that I had to isolate. And I fell off my ladder. And I never got to my purpose. And yep, listen, y'all. Transparency, accountability, and valuing people. Community is important. But you also have to hard work. 
make good choices. Hard work, make good choices. You have to climb the ladder, but you don't do it by yourself. I've learned, y'all, we are better together.